Hello, my name is Amanda and I'm an art instructor at the Art Gallery of Ontario and I've been doing some drawing. I've got some inspiration from Annie Potuguk's composition, Drawing of My Grandmother's Glasses. This is a very big piece and we're going to do some drawings that are larger than life today. You're going to need some paper, bigger the better, but whatever you can find at home, um, regular sized paper will be fine. You're going to obviously want some drawing materials. Pencils are great to get started with. You might also want some markers, maybe pencil crayons, and you're gonna to wanna to pick something to draw. So I have a key here that of a house that I used to live in that I keep, and I also have an old camera that I like to keep on display because I really like the way that it looks. So you're gonna to wanna to pick something as well, maybe something that's meaningful to you, maybe something that you use all the time, or maybe something that you just really like the way it looks, maybe a toy or something that you keep nearby in your bedroom. Let's go find something to draw and let's get started. So drawing big could feel daunting, but the best thing to do is actually pick your object and to draw it a few times small or regular size. Drawing is a great way to get familiar with whatever it is you're drawing. You're forced to look at it maybe from different angles and take the time to investigate all the different lines and shapes that it has. So I'm gonna do a few sketches of my key first, but I'm gonna do them maybe smaller or not gigantic. And I'm just gonna use a pencil and I can be rough with my lines. This is gonna be the best way to start. So I'm gonna start sketching my my key, my object, and I'm gonna do it a few times small. I want you to notice how much detail your objects have. So pick a side and place it near you and I want you to just start drawing. Um, you might wanna use a pencil, but I'm gonna use a marker, but it's up to you what you want to do. You're gonna basically make what you could call a contour drawing. So I'm really focusing on the shape of my object. So I'm kind of doing like an outline of it first, just all the way around. I'm not worried if it's perfect or not. I'm just gonna go for it. Remember, this is a sketch. We're gonna be doing this a few times so that way we can really get to know and understand whatever it is we might be drawing. And that's how we're gonna really prepare to draw it large. So I've drawn my key a few times now and I've gotten familiar with its shape and its lines and I'm ready and excited to draw even bigger. So I have a piece of paper here that I'm going to get started on. I'm going to start with pencil, but it's up to you. You can go right ahead with marker. You're kind of warmed up now and ready to go. I'm going to let you watch me draw it big. You might want to map out your drawing. That's one way to make sure that you'll get it on the page. So I'm doing a little dot for the tip of the key and I'm going to do another dot for the top of the key. This is just something that I do to help me map out the space on my page so that way I can make sure that it fits. It's just a little tip. So there it is, there's my larger than life key drawing. Much larger than the original object. It's not perfect and that's okay. It's good to just embellish the imperfections of your drawing. Let those lines go that are not totally straight or not exactly in the right spot. You'll get better as you keep trying. But there is something lovely about your own personal rendition of the object that you decided to draw. Let's try to draw this even bigger. and you can check out all the work that I made. Annie has also colored in a lot of her work with pencil crayons, so if you have some around the house, you might wanna color yours in as well. And of course, we'd like to see what you made. Give us a hashtag, AGO makes, so we can see your larger than life drawings too. Bye.